Once again we've had some thrilling races in F2, where we have had constant battling down the field, with plenty of future stars impressing along the way. So in this video I will look at how the F2 season has gone so far, what the best races of the season have been and what I predict for the rest of 2018. The season though for F2 started back in Bahrain, and in the feature race Lando Norris would go on to take a dominant race win, after just about getting pole position, as he absolutely blitzed the field. The second race though was very good, with Artem Markalov taking the win, in a very typical Markalov victory, fighting and battling his way to the front, and I'm surprised an F1 team has not snapped him up already. Then Baku saw two different race winners, First of Alexander Albon winning from pole position in the feature race, then on Sunday George Russell won after starting in 12th. A simply superb drive. This was already turning into a very competitive season. And talking of Russell, he would win in the feature race in Spain. This time from a much higher P4 on the grid. Russell was starting to impress, and his teammate won the day after. With Jack Aitken just about winning the race, from both Albon and Norris. A lot of different winners so far. Then in Monaco we saw even more great driving. As in the feature race Artem Markalov dominantly won. By over 10 seconds. Then on the Sunday Antonio Fuoco won from pole position. With his teammate Louis Delatraz in P2 completing a 1-2 finish for Chirou. A lot of different winners so far in this season. And that would not stop in France. First though in the feature race George Russell won again as he was now establishing a foothold in the championship. But on the Sunday, Nick De Vries won the race. Another different race winner. If only F1 could be like this. In Austria, though, saw George Russell win the feature race again, and also again from pole position. Russell was showing why he is such a highly rated driver. On Sunday, though, Artem Markalov would win. And he had quite an eventful weekend, completing an amazing triple pass into Turn 2. Seriously, why is no one signing him? He's a lot better than people think. Silverstone, though, would see Alexander Albon finally win again, dominantly beating George Russell in the feature race by 10 seconds. Albon is really having a good year. Sunday, they would see another new winner in Max Gunter, as he was able to just about hold off George Russell for victory. That is now eight different race winners. And at the last race in Hungary, we got a great race. A wet, dry classic, where in the wet conditions Lando Norris flew off into the distance. But once it became dry, Nick De Vries caught and passed him for the win, in what was one of the best races so far. And then the day after, Albon won his third race of 2018, in a race that was nowhere near as good as the feature race. But it has been a great season so far. And in the Drivers' Championship, George Russell leads from Lando Norris with Alexander Albon in 3rd and Artem Markalov in 4th, with the title certainly between the top 3. And for George Russell, he has been very impressive, taking 4 race wins and 3 pole positions. And of course, he is leading the championship with also 7 podiums. He looks good going forward. Lando, though, has not been as good as people thought he would, with only 1 race win and 1 pole position. He is still 2nd in the championship, though, with 7 podiums. But it definitely could have been better. Now when it comes to the best races of 2018, I really don't know. There has been so many great moments already. The racing in Baku was great. In Austria where we had that move from Artem Markalov. Another great moment. But for me the best race is the wet dry feature race in Hungary. It was so so good. As every lap something was going on. I could watch this race over and over again. Let me know though in the comments what you think is the best race so far. Now though, let's focus on our top three drivers. George Russell has responded to the challenge of Lando Norris very well. I always knew that he was a good driver, but not this good. The most impressive part has to be his qualifying performances. He is a very quick driver over one lap. A good trait to have. He does though need to improve his overtaking. As sometimes this season, especially in Monaco, it's not been that great. Despite them only getting one race win, Lando Norris has also been good, but just not good enough to be in the championship lead. He is very good in wet conditions and also overtaking, but he just isn't as quick as George Russell. A problem he must sort out, because it really could cost him in the title fight. 
and I want to give a shout out to Alexander Alban. This guy for me is very underrated. This season he's had race wins and pole positions, and been very competitive at the front of the field, and also consistent. This is another driver that should be in line for a seat in F1. Another grossly underrated driver. But what do I think is going to happen in the title fight? Right now if I had to put my money on anyone, it would have to be Russell. Because he has enough pace in the next four races to get the job done. And I don't think Norris quite does. But I do think it will go down to the final race in Abu Dhabi. It is still very close. But no matter what goes down in the title fight, there are plenty of great races yet to come. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I will be back tomorrow with an F1 2019 driver lineup prediction video. As well, don't forget to join my Discord server. The link to that is in the description. Also with my Twitter. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what do you think about the F2 season so far. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time, it's been me, Chazzer HD. Goodbye.